All right, all right, all right. Lee, yo, what it be, yo? It is me, Ra. It is she, Ra. It is Vera. It is Scorpio, Rat Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energy you got surrounding you for the month of March 2021, baby. We're here to have some fun, and the party has just begun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies. Every last one of you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video welcome 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 okay like they say up in carolina's kitchen all right now listen <clears throat> there's anyone that would like to book a personal private private reading if um this reading or any of my readings at any point in time if they resonate with you if you want to send some love to the page to help support check out the description box of this video check out the um, about tab on my youtube page it gives you my pricing list various ways to support and to reach out to me the best form of contact is to send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so leo you already know how do baby you know we always going to give praise thanks and acknowledgement to the creator father god the universe whatever it is that you want to call him so if you wouldn't mind you know have a raising your hand or bowing your head with me in prayer so father god thank you so much for you know giving us this this divine day to come together for the sign of Leo, Father God. We thank you for all of the blessings, all of the strength that just, you know, resides, you know, around and inside of us, Father God. We are seeing that circle of light, Father God. We're seeing those doors, those pathways that we, you know, it's just, it's like the pathways, the floor is just like lit up with just like this golden shimmering light with these beautiful doors with that golden shimmering light on the other side. It is just like, we, we're thankful for these doors, Father God. I don't know how many people understand what I'm saying by like you see yourself approaching these doors. You see these opportunities that are coming your way. You see the doors opening up. You see the divining light. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm just getting this bright golden energy around you guys. You guys just feel so strong. You feel so encouraged. You feel so deserving. It's like you know that you're deserving of all of these blessings and all of this stuff that's coming into your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. We claim it. Hold on. Yes, God. So, Father God, we thank you so much for allowing us to bear witness of your greatness and just how real you are. People really sleep on just how real you are and just how much, you know, a connection with you could change your whole freaking life. <laughs> So, Father God, we thank you so much for being our best friend, for being our father, for being our protector, for being our everything, Father God. Please give us the guidance that we need today for the sign of Leo. Um, and just continue to just gift us with your life and your glory. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's get into this, y'all. So, listen. <clears throat> We are using the tea leaf cards. Ooh, y'all know y'all love these. Okay, you know you love this. So let's get it too. We're going to get three on this side and three on the other side. Give me three cards for the sign of Leo for March 2021. Thank you so much. Give me three cards for Leo. All right. Oh. Oh, we got the scales. It says, keep your life in balance. All right. All right. So, let's see. Oh, okay. We got tankered. Okay, who been drinking? I've been drinking watermelon. <laughs> Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Oh, listen, you going to have to balance yourself. Look like you've been having a lot of fun out here, Leo. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I'm with you. I am with you. Let's get it. And one more card, please. For Leo's for March. Balancing this enjoyment that you're having. Ooh, great passion with the tulip. Okay. I uh, reloaded. So, I like this. Keep your life in balance. In between this celebration, fun, and enjoyment, and this great passion. So... I don't know if you guys are in a new relationship or something that you're very passionate about. You could be passionate about anything, you know. You could be very passionate about anything like um, 
finding some type of new skill or new gift or new type of hobby or something that you're very, very passionate about. It could be that. So it's like finding balance between your party time, your enjoyment, you hanging out, you chilling, you, you know, doing all those things that relax you and just keep you in that tranquil, peaceful, abundant level. You know what I'm saying? And the time that you're spending putting into this passion, it's like after you're putting too much energy into this new love, this new desire of yours, and you're not having enough fun and balance, you know, the balance or you having too much fun and you're not giving enough attention to the passion. So it's like you got to have appropriate balance here. So let's see. Tanker, though, it, it's the it's the tanker for me. <laughs> it's the tanker like <laughs> It's like too much drinking, too much like you you having too much of a good time. But I mean, you supposed to have a good time. Shit, don't you deserve it? You got lightning. Control your anger, or you'll be sorry, Leo. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Tell me what that is about. All right. Ooh, spear. Heartache over something you no longer have. Whoa, this son. Okay. Whoa, this son. All right. <laughs> I don't know why now listen if y'all remember back in y'all remember back in the day the Hot Boys album with Juvenile and Turk and all them son <laughs> cause I just wanna say whoa this son you backing that ass up or you sling that Oscar Maya <laughs> y'all remember that skit with the Chinese man in, in the convenience shop it's like you backing that ass up or you sling that Oscar Maya listen whoa this son oh my goodness control your anger upset about something that you cannot have i'm just trying yeah i'm trying to figure out was you backing it up was you receiving or was you giving i don't know why i just feel like i wanted to i don't know if that really makes a difference but it kind of does it's like a camel a needle so it says preserve and you will Overcome your problem and a sincere wish will be granted. Control your anger. Preservance. And you will get what you want. So I don't care if you ever was trying to give your love or if you was going to receive it in this situation. Whatever it is, there's some level of someone being upset over something that doesn't exist anymore. Something that's not in their life anymore. Preserve your energy. Don't give your energy. Don't be tripping. Play this shit cool. Play this shit cool. Have some balance. Because that's what I'm kind of getting like. I want to say this tanker is, is really all in you just chilling and just having a good time. And just having fun. But with this being over here, you know how sometimes something that happened and it pissed you off because you didn't get what you wanted to get out of the situation. And instead of you, like, focusing on your light, you be too busy, like, you know, trying to dull out the pain or emotion so you can't think about it no more. You just ever go out and celebrate and have fun with your friends and just like, you know, you just want to party instead of, like, focusing on the light, giving it to your passions. It's like... Instead, if like you try to nurse your pain with drinking and drugs and substance and stuff like that. So, if this is someone's situation, please give it to the light. Focus on your passions. I'm not saying you can't go out and especially to get your mind off of things. If you need to get your mind off of things, especially if it's something that didn't go right. I'm not telling you don't go out and party with your friends to kind of get your mind off of things. But don't do that as much as you could be focusing your energy on something that could bring you some dividends on the back end. You feel me? Like focus on focus on your dreams, baby. And you will overcome your problems. Focus on something that's more worthwhile that will benefit you. Because you can't control what other things do. Or you can't necessarily control the outcome of everything. But you could control your destiny. Preserve your energy and... Take that needle and thread and let's sew something up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these pockets sewed up. That's what I'm saying to you in the name of Jesus. Hello, amen. I'm 
don't try to help you keep them pockets sold up. You ain't keeping them sold up by keep going to the bar, wasting your money, hanging out with your friends. You know, I'd rather you invest in your passion. Because eventually, you give enough energy to your passions, your passions will eventually become a pleasure. <laughs> Honey, give me goddess for my Leos. Spiritual partnership. Okay. All right now. God is saying be rooted and understand this and we doing all this for a spiritual partnership. So it don't even matter. Some, look, they rejections be God protection. I'm trying to tell you. Then it says spirituality. Spiritual relationship is spirituality. Hmm. And then you got the number two and then you got the number seven. And then you got 77 down here. <clears throat> So what this is basically telling me is, um, I want to say, because everyone keeps telling me and I keep hearing, like, drinking liquor does not mesh well with, like, the spiritual world. Like, it's actually a propellant. Like, it can dull down your spiritual gifts or, you know, you being able to retain the information and stuff like that if you um, participate in a whole bunch of spirits. I, you know what? I'm going to look into why they call alcohol spirits. If y'all know that, can y'all do that? Can y'all, can we work together? Can y'all put that information down in the comments? Why do they call alcohol spirits? Very interesting. Very interesting. What I'm getting here is like, you about to move on a whole totally different level. That's why God needs you balanced and you really need to focus more on your passions than you hanging out and introducing new spirits into your life. Because I swear sometimes, you know what they say, a, a drunk person speaks his sober mind and stuff like that. Like, no, like you don't need to be encouraged by that type of energy for you to speak your peace on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't ever come out the right way and it brings you more trouble because alcoholism and just all of that it just brings trouble and I don't know why I just feel like I need to church somebody like that on this but drinking is not going to solve your problems like hanging out and trying to act like the shit don't exist it's not going to solve your problems because when you go home you still got to face that man in the mirror in those in those energies and those thoughts and all that stuff is still there Unless you're going to pick up another bottle and drown yourself in the misery until you go to sleep and you wake up with a hangover. That's not like the life to live. I don't know why I'm getting that. But that is what I'm getting. And it's somebody that is so talented and so gifted and has so much more to offer to life than wasting their energy because something didn't happen the way that they expected it to. This right here, this needle and thread. I'm getting like the needle in the haystack. You got a gift. You have a talent in doing something. And you're sacrificing it right now. Focusing on something that is not benefiting you. God needs you to get balanced. Needs you to give your energy to the right thing. That's why that number two is there. That has a very much to do with balance. The number seven has to do with withdrawal. It has to do with being analytical that's the number of spirituality mainly it's about withdrawal though you know it's about knowledge wisdom understanding contemplation so what i need you to figure out is what is what is more important to you having anything or having the right thing and that's what you need to be grounded and rooted on that's what you need to have that understanding for. That's why that sacral chakra is right there. What do you really feel? You know? What do you really feel? Because I don't feel like there was happiness here. Even though the situation didn't come out the way that you wanted to, I still don't feel like there would have been that ultimate happiness because it wasn't a spiritual partnership that you need. You need somebody that's going to uplift you. You're going to need somebody that's going to encourage you. You're going to need someone that is going to promote that spiritual growth. You don't need anything. And you don't need to be doing anything as well. I feel like there's something more better that you could be doing with your time. 
that's why we got this violence. And I'm so serious about that. And I don't mean to be, you know, so churchy with y'all, but I, I have to really break that shit down the way I need to. I need to go up in the shadows real quick. Because I need to see what the fuck is going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, what's going on with all of this drinking and all? What happened? What is this person feeling? Because, like, God wants something better for you. God wants a spiritual partner for you. And that's why God is like, you need to be alone to help. You need to be alone right now. Somebody's having a face and look their self in the mirror right now because we about to change your outlook so we can start attracting what you really need. Not what you want, but what you need. And this is what you need. Your spirituality... You love in yourself. You have a faith. It is so worth it. Just work with yourself. Be calm. Hold your temper. Like it says, your, your temper, mm, it says shocking. So something hits you as a surprise. And again, like it's saying something, heartache over what you no longer have. Envious. Mmm. Mmm. I possibly have something to do with a water sign. Whenever I see this, I always think of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Because you see that mermaid right there and that skull and all the water and stuff like that. Then you got the Medicaid in, in the reverse. So I told you this is someone that is needs to stop drinking too much. Because as you can see, this person is medicating. With alcohol and substances or whatever, but it's mainly alcohol. And this is drinking. I don't see anything else but drinking. She's drinking. Mm -mm. And it's definitely came out in reverse. So something happened. Um, I don't really like to, to, to say that people are envious of people, but there is, I mean, there could be a situation, and I can't say that I've never been envious of someone. I've definitely been in a situation where it's like, well, fuck, I applied for this job. I know that I'm super dumb qualified for this position. Not only am I qualified for the position, I've actually worked in and in, in, sat in that position before. They've seen me do this before, so why in the hell would they hire this person? You know, so it's like you can see somebody else doing something that you feel like you should have been doing and you can be a little envious. You might not like that person because, you know, you it's a little bit of envy. Like you felt like, you know, you really deserve that position. And it's not that you intentionally have a reason to dislike the person. It's just the situation. You know what I'm saying? It's because you're disappointed of the outcome. You know, again, heartache over what you no longer have or you know it's like now you don't have that opportunity because they gave the position to somebody else so it's like now you have a distaste in your mouth for somebody and you're envious you know what i'm saying and there could be some level again of like i said self-medicating what's going on here we got the roof of this car right here and we got disconnected hmm Remember over here they said control your anger or you will be sorry. And that's why again I'm trying to tell y'all y'all need to chill out with the fucking drinking because chill out with the drinking. I'm trying to, I'm I'm begging you, bruh. Cause if you don't stop, you gonna do something or you gonna say something that you can't take back and you gonna regret it. You gonna regret it. Period. 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 And it's like with this disconnect, it's like you're disconnected. It's like you're only it's like you stuck in your own thoughts. That's why I'm saying that's where that medicating and all of that stuff is coming from. It's like sometimes we can't really see what other people see. It's all let me think. Let me think how I could break this down. So it's like if you're disconnected in your head about 
well, how the fuck did they hire this person over me? Like, I've actually tempted in this position for three months. You know? So why would they... So, if you're so disconnected and you only want to see what you want to see, especially because you're in this place of shock and envy and everything, and you're already not doing healthy things with yourself. So you're not in a predicament to see things in a healthy way. They could say, well, yes, you 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 train in a position and you work in a position for three months, but this person has the credentials. They actually have like management history. They have a uh, uh, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree in whatever, whatever, and political science or blah blah blah. You know that kind of uh, you know Trump. What you bring to the table, you know what I'm saying? So, and we're looking for someone with, you know, not only, you know, the capability to do this position, but management skills too. And unfortunately, you don't have that. So, it's like, uh, you know, but if you're disconnected, you're not necessarily looking at it in the way that other people are looking at it. you only seeing what you want to see. You only see that you were doing the job. You're, you're not looking for the other qualifications that they needed to fill the position and it's like now you hate somebody and you have all of this malice and, and, and envy and, and all of this stuff in your heart um and it's like you're not trying to see things from all sides as in you know so and I'm just giving you an example from like an employer aspect um mm. <laughs> I don't like that though. I really don't like that. Let's get some guidance here. Give me some guidance on this information here. Especially what's going on in the shadows. Keep your life in balance. There's a lot of celebration. A lot of getting tankered here. There's a lot of celebration, fun, and enjoyment. I feel like y'all are definitely doing that to mask and overshadow this shit here. What's really going on in the shadows. You should be giving your energy to your passions. And you need to be focusing on just your spirituality and like trying to find a spiritual partnership. And that's not just in love. That's in work. That's in friendships. That's in everything. I need to find something that's a spiritual partnership. It's spiritually yoked with me. You know. Let's see. You got the star card. You got the ace of wands. Come on. And then you got the four of cups. So listen. So you are in a place right now where you feel like you're being overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Like you keep wanting to stick your hand out there and, and it's you you feel like you're being overlooked for other people, you know? Like when is it gonna be my chance? Like I'm kind of getting tired of it's like your mind is starting to awaken a little bit. You're getting bored. And again, the Four of Cups does represent like somebody that is realizing that I'm tired of being rejected or you are in a place of rejecting and realizing something that you, you don't want it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Whereas though I was waiting for this, I don't even think I'm even interested in it anymore because I, I just, I'm tired of being overlooked and, and whatever they're offering, it's not even suitable to me. It's not suitable to me anymore. You know? Hmm. So why keep even putting myself out there? See, because you see how this person, you see how the rose is there in this, and they're like, fuck it. They're putting their cup over the rose. It's like, I don't even want to see this shit no more. I don't even want to see this shit no more. And again, I want y'all to see this. Because you see how this is laying on my table? I don't know why this is hitting me like it's somebody watching you and it's and it's saying somebody's watching you give up. Somebody's watching you give up. It's like cause it, it you're saying it's like I don't even want it no more. It's like I don't even want it no more. But it's like at the same time, I'd rather you, 
I'd rather you give up and just say, you know what, I'm done with this. I don't want to continue to focus my energy on that. I'd rather focus my energy on other passions because with this Ace of Wands right here, this is like you getting that spark again. You getting that life again. It's like you taking that power to create your own reality. You having an epiphany. You know what I'm saying? Like you realizing your ability, your strength, like... You know, it's like divine inspiration, creativity. You know what I'm saying? Like, your purpose being realized. That phoenix moment. That true awakening. Like, it, I feel like it took... I don't know. It's like... I don't, because I'm sorry, because, like, every time I keep looking at, because I'm seeing this eye right here, because I don't know if y'all seeing it on the camera, how I'm seeing it. It's like this eye right here and this eye right here. That shit is hit me, because it's like, from one standpoint, it's like, you being shocked and God's watching and shit play out. And it's like, how long are you going to sit there and keep being rejected for you to wake up and decide, like, I don't want this no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to miss no more opportunities waiting for this. Do you feel what I'm saying? And it's like you looked up and then you took your power into your own hand and became a star. Because you started believing in yourself. Because, bruh, it's like if you're constantly being put down, put down, let down, let down. It don't matter what you do, how hard you work. How much love, how many times you offer yourself to this situation. And people just keep passing you by. They keep overlooking you. They keep playing with you like, mm, they might be a little interested and then turn away and just go pick something else right in front of your face. Like, what? You know, it's like, that's why I'm feeling like this could be a job situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like these motherfuckers did this shit again. You know what I'm saying? So, um... You y'all could be going out with y'all co-workers and stuff getting fucked up and shit after work or whatever because it's like you could be angry and like please don't go and, and oh my god please if y'all going to have lunch if y'all going to have drinks on your lunch time oh my god Ooh, why did I just see that? Ooh, why did I just see that? Because I ain't even about to lie me and my co-workers they used to go and have drinks on our motherfucking lunch break. I ain't even about to hold you. But it's like I am seeing somebody like Get angry and going to fuck off. Like cussing somebody out. Hold your temper. With this spiritual partnership. And this spirituality right here. It's like please. Rely on your faith. If you know you a star. You know who you are. You can manifest and bring anything in, in your life. That you want to. The star card is like wishes. It's like wishing on the star. Wish granted. You know. Pray. Pray. Pray your fears away so that you can reach whatever it is that you need to reach. That you can obtain your happiness on every fucking level. Do you hear me? On the spiritual realm and on the physical realm. You can take your dreams and turn it into reality, baby. Pray that shit into your life and you move accordingly according to your prayers. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? You can have whatever it is you want. Don't, don't, don't give in to those fears. Don't ever give in to those fears. Let me see here. Let's go with the Lenormand. We about to wrap this up for my little Give me one more guidance for the Leo in regards to their personal life. Okay. Yes. Okay. So then you got the scythe card. And then you got the yes. And then you got the crossroads card. I love it. Listen. Again, I don't know why I've been screaming like this whole time. Their rejection is God's protection. That's the end of that cycle. Because, listen, I've had situations in my life where I kept applying for a position, 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 position. That shit's played out in my life. It's time for a new fucking phase. So, just stop putting your energy towards something. If you keep being rejected, it's time for you to focus your energy on something else. You understand? Cut out all of that old shit, all of that old energy that you used to put into that shit. And it's time to plant new seeds so new roots can be nourished so new plants and new fruits can grow you understand 
full harvest. You're at a crossroads in your life. You need to pick which direction you are going in. And you need to focus on what seeds are being planted. And make sure you educate yourself on the seeds that's being planted so you can harvest and put your intentions and your love and your passion into that shit. Have you ever planted a seed and you just thought that you would have a normal harvest, but your harvest was just like over, it overproduced up to your expectancy. It overproduced what you were expecting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like right now you have the chance of a lifetime to do whatever it is that your heart is, is, is. You know, you got the Jack of Diamonds. The Jack of Diamonds is like a messenger, a offer of like ever, like some type of financial security, um, like loans, uh, uh, grants, um, like a job offer or, you know, like, um, like you get accept for like, um, uh, pre-approved for a, mo a loan, a mortgage, or something like that. Like, that's the Jack of Diamonds. And then you got the Queen of Diamonds right there. So, like, she's the money maker. She is the accountant. She's the financial advisor. She is the business lawyer. She is the law. You know, like, that's literally who the queen of diamonds is not only is she queen of diamonds she's the queen of luxury she's a like a spirituality of, of spirituality like that's what this is of high intelligence higher learning you know education like all of that stuff like that maybe you need to go into education fields or shoot apply in finance apply in um no 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 security that's like um security that's spades but like financial security, like this is technology as well. Like you can, um, I don't know. And I don't know why I feel like you guys could possibly move too. Like, I feel like you guys might possibly move too. Like if you just kind of like picked up and move, you might have other opportunities in other areas like, I don't know, maybe if you just applied your attention. Because I am getting somebody like cutting everything, like cutting all of their losses and moving. And it's like you have other op vast opportunities somewhere else. Like so it's like better picking somewhere else. Like your skills and things like that are better suited somewhere else. You got the five of swords in the reverse. So again, I'm like, mm. and then they go that fucking eye again. What is up with this? And these are different decks, my nigga. What is up with this eye with y'all, young? It's like, I don't know if God is watching you. And again, it's about a violence or control, a violent streak or temper and drinking. Like, that's what I'm getting. It's like. Something about argumentative. Because the swords is like words as well. But it's physical violence as well. It's words that can lead to violence. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone not knowing what to say. Someone leading towards more abuse in regards to. Like the five of swords isn't, isn't good. And. What I'm feeling here, instead of getting smart with people, because, gosh, it's like, ugh, why am I getting this? It's like, yeah, I'm seeing why they're saying, like, control your fucking temper, man, because someone don't know what the fuck to say out of their mouth, and it's like, control with this alcohol and things. Like, this shit's not good. Like, you need to cut that shit out of your life. Then you got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. The seven of pentacles in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse, and then the eight of swords. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely feeling like if someone doesn't um control their anger, it could definitely lead to a situation that you don't want it to, and someone can end up getting locked up. That's all I'm saying. 
because the five of swords in the reverse and then you got the ace of swords and the seven of discs so like this is basically telling me it's like someone is very angry because they don't under this is the ace of swords in the verse yet yeah, it's like they don't understand a situation that's going on and it's like they don't want the truth and the information that they're being given they're not satisfied with it and the more and more that they're being fed bullshit the more angry they are becoming and it's like i sat around and i fed myself allowed you to feed me these lies and i sat around and waited for no fucking reason for you to feed me crumbs and bullshit and you not to give me the title and for you not to honor your arrangement and for me not to get the full harvest are you fucking kidding me like as i am like I am getting, it's like, my stomach is boiling right now. It's like, and it has every fucking thing to do with some type of status or money or an arrangement or a relationship or something. And I'm trying to tell y'all, please cut your shit the fuck out and move on. If you focus your energy on trying, you're going to fucking lose your head with this shit. I'm trying to tell you, you're going to lose your head. You're going to lose your shit. Because the love is in the reverse. And then you got the Ace of Swords, honey. You know, the Ace of Swords is like imprisonment. That's being locked up. All over an entanglement. All over some bullshit. Something that doesn't suit you anyway. The love is in the reverse. It was ill-fitting. It was ill-fitting. Don't sit there and allow yourself to get to the point of no return where you end up having to be confined Why? Because something didn't turn out the way you wanted to. Want to argue with people looking for truths that they're not going to give you. It's wasted time. It's already too much wasted energy. Don't waste no more. Cut your losses and move on. Do you understand? Cut your losses and move on. Lightning, control your temper or you will fucking regret it. All of this over heartache, over something that you no longer have. Let me hurry up and finish this up. Let me give you some guidance and love real quick. And then be closing this out. Because I feel like I don't went too long with this one. Jumping out the window with this one. Jumping out the window with this one. Bitch, we jump out the window with this one. Give me guidance and love. For oh, no ma'am. No ma'am, Miss Pam. I do not like green eggs and ham. All right. So listen, we're not reading all of that, but I'll tell you this. All right, we got the green here. So in regards to love, you know, like things are starting to grow. Just believe in yourself. And, the you know, green to me has to do with your health. You know, it has to do with you taking care of your body, your mind, and your soul. When you chill out with all of the drinking and you're drinking more water, eating more fruits, more vegetables, positive protein you exercise and better things come for you you know what I mean? so it says prosperity health and abundance remember i was just talking about the health please drink more water and chill out with the fucking alcohol i'm so serious it is not helping it is not helping clinging stop clinging to that situation you understand and the reason why it's clinging because of this this is here, so you can't say it's not here. You got to learn how to cut it out and let it go and move on. It's time to put yourself in a better position. But you get full harvest of fruit. Not no partial bullshit. Not no part because this is seven, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. This is when you were supposed to get a ten of pentacles and you only get seven. And half of it is rotten fruit. So really you only got four. And that's why you like four. Four, bitch. You said I was supposed to get ten. I don't want this shit. And it's like the motherfuckers watching you walk away. Because it's like you don't want none of this shit. So they, they going to take the four that you should have had. Fuck them. Let them have that dumb ass shit. We going somewhere where there's true prosperity. True prosperity. Clinging to us. Positive health. An abundance. Clinging to our spirit and our soul. Because it's a spiritual partnership. We will not serve what is not being serving to us. 
If you want me to give to you, you gonna have to give to me. I don't want no partial ass fucking bullshit. Why I'm wasting my time and energy, and I feel like popping holes in the fucking face. No, cause y'all about to get me locked up. You know, got you for drinking. Okay. <laughs> give me some last love advice for my Leos, please. Oh, goodness gracious, we got the regret card here. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a lot of wasted time to me, Leo. That's what it seems to me. No more contemplation about this one. And stop thinking about it. I know you regret giving your energy to it, but it's done and it's over. Cut your losses. And it's time to plant new seeds. It's time to move on. What is this here? Look, you got the union card. So again, like I told you, when you make the decision on what side of the road you want to be on? Cut your losses. This chapter is over. Tens represents completions. It's over. Done. Time to go to a new phase. Something more balanced. That's where you're going to find that spiritual union. Hello? And what is this? Ascending. Ascending. And what is all of this saying? Spiritual partnership. Spirituality. The star, the ace of wands. Look, again, once you decide to stop putting yourself in the line of choosing, you can't, listen, you can't disappoint me no more because I'm no longer an option for you. I'm no longer an option. I'm not sitting around waiting for shit. You understand? And I'm not offering myself to somebody that could possibly reject me. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> I'm too good. I'm too good. Too good. I'm the phoenix, baby. You know? I look at myself and say, I don't even like what I see no more. Because this person who I was, I don't like that motherfucker no more. I was too, listen, I was giving motherfuckers too much. I bet you I want no more. Listen, I'll burn that old person who I am and I'll reinvent myself and I'll come out this motherfucker the star, bitch. You better recognize who I are. Okay? I'm reloaded, bitch. Don't play with me. Come on. Don't play with me. I know you regret it, but please stop contemplating this shit. A spiritual union is coming. Ascent. I need you to have this Phoenix moment and come on up out of this. Do you hear me, baby? So listen, um, Leo, this has been y'all reading. Y'all make sure y'all hit this like button. Y'all subscribe if y'all have not subscribed already. See y'all down in the comments. I'll see y'all next month. Peace.